Hey Kevin here from DIYDork.com. Today I want to show you this really awesome makeover I did on this super ugly table I got for $4 at the thrift store. Now this thing looked like it used to be in the brave room of some dirty factory, but I totally freshened it up, gave it a new life, and it turned out awesome. So let me show you how I did it. All right, so the wind really started to kick up here, but I'm gonna start covering the uh, tabletop. So the first thing I'm gonna do is chop up my little wood slats into just different various lengths. And you'll see why here in just a second. All right, so I got all the slats cut down for my middle row, which I'm gonna work on first. And I'm gonna finish these out kind of like I did my pallet wood paint trick video. And if you haven't seen that, I'll link to it at the end of this video and also in the description. But if you look at these up close, they're really rough and they have some of the uh, saw blade marks in it. So I'm gonna use that to my advantage and I'm gonna slop some paint on them. Then when it's all dry, I'm gonna sand them. That way I can smooth them out, kind of round off the edges, get rid of the splinters, get rid of the really, really rough areas, and it'll have a really cool distressed look. And then I can finish it with some stain. The stain I'm gonna use will be my homemade wood stain, which I also have a video, and I'll link to that as well. Then once they're all painted and stained and sanded smooth, I'm going to glue and nail them in place exactly like this. And then these open areas here, I'm just going to put in some raw slats. So they'll be just like that, except they'll be sanded smooth. And then uh, I'll clear coat everything and finish it. So anyway, I'll get started with these. All right, so one more thing I want to show you before I lose all my daylight is I went through all my boards and I numbered them. So I remember which order they go in. Also, before I picked them up, I went through with a marker and just marked the bottom of where my pattern was so I remember how to place this after I finish these up. So now I'll go in start doing all paint and all that because it's just about to get dark outside. Alright so I brought in all of my little slats here now that they've dried with the homemade wood stain and the cool thing about it is that it really darkens up once it dries and it reacts differently to the wood so it's not totally predictable but yet on this pine wood since it, it was you know kind of different shades you have your really white shades of uh, pine and then the other slats have a little more of a gray to them and then others are more red you can see how the color is a little different and it reacts to the uh, homemade wood stain a little differently so that's why you get different various shades so a pretty cool look and then, uh, of course, we sanded all the paint, and um, it's just kind of a dirty, muddy look now. But once they're all installed and then clear coated, it's really going to pop and look really cool. The other thing is that once you put the natural colored wood slats up against it, you can really see, you know, the big difference. So it's going to have a, a really, really cool look. So now I can start installing. It's going to be really simple. I'll just pull these up. If you remember earlier, I made the little lines that show where the bottom of these go. I'll just put a strip of glue underneath and then I'll use my brad nailer to pop in little tiny three quarter inch brad nails which would be plenty to hold it in. So how about I do that and get it going. All right, now that the uh, middle row is nailed down and in place, I can do the two outer rows. And these are really easy. These are just the leftover slats from when I chopped the others down. All I have to do is lay them in place and take a pin and mark them underneath right against the edge of the old tabletop. Then that way I can take them outside and cut them right along that line and they're all gonna fit. Also, I numbered them so I remember where they go in. So I'll do that, I'll lay these out, chop them, glue and nail them in place and I'll show you what this whole thing looks like when everything is down. Alright, and check it out. There's all the slats on the tabletop. Looks pretty cool. And it's going to look even better once I get all the clear coat on there. It's going to really enrich in, and the wood grain's going to pop, and uh, the homemade wood stain won't have that dull, dusty look. 
it'll be really lively then too. But before I clear coat it, I want to build some side trim because the sides are really ugly. So I'm going to do it kind of similar to the um, wood slats on top, except they're going to be a little thicker. These are only a little less than a quarter inch thick, and the ones I want on the side, I want to be about uh, oh somewhere around half inch thick or so, just so it's a little sturdier. And then I'll finish them in the homemade wood stain, so I have a nice darker uh, wood trim around it. So I'll build that next. Right now before I put my side trim on I decided to go ahead and put clear lacquer on the tabletop and the trim separately just so that the homemade wood stain doesn't bleed through into the raw wood because like you know if I'm just sitting here brushing a whole thing I feel like it's gonna smear onto here so it'll be kind of the raw wood look here and then it'll be kind of a weird orange color here so I'm gonna carefully go over each of these uh, homemade wood stain slats first to get them sealed in then I can go over the raw wood slats with a different brush and uh, that way, I, you know, I'll kind of prevent some bleeding. Then the uh, same thing with the trim on the side. I'll go ahead and clear coat it first before I nail it on. Alright, so I finally got two coats of lacquer on everything and it dried up. That last whole segment when I was clear coating the trim, I did that inside because it's raining, but I absolutely do not recommend that because this stuff smells terrible. And I actually let those dry downstairs in the basement with the door wide open so the smell would go away. But anyway, now that it's all dry, I need to sand it because although it looks good, it doesn't feel good. It gets rough because I had sanded all this wood. Then when I clear coated it, the little loose fibers hardened up and they kind of, you know, they stick up. So now it kind of feels like a really mild sandpaper. So what I'm going to do is take my really fine grit sanding sponge here and I'm just going to go over it really lightly. And I'll hit up all of the uh, rough spots and it'll make it nice and slick. Now the one problem is that if there's any like little dips and divots, kind of like over here. I don't know if you can see that, but it will collect the dust. So what I re recommend doing is just taking a damp cloth and just buffing the whole thing out after you sand it. That'll give you a nice clean finish and it'll be ready to put together. So I'll do the same thing on that trim. I'll sand them, buff them down, and then I can finally put them on and get this table going. All right, so everything is sanded and I'm putting it together now. I already put on two of the sides here and I don't think I explained earlier, but for Two of the side trim pieces, I made them the exact length of the table, so they end flush with the table. With the other two pieces, I made them the same length as the table, plus the thickness of the trim on both sides so that it covers it up. Just makes it really simple and you don't have to mess with any miters or anything like that. So also I dropped some glue in there and I'm just going to line it up and then I have some um, clamps here. I'm actually going to clamp it towards the middle. And uh, let me see if I can get a better camera angle here in a second, and I'll show you why. All right, this side isn't quite as dramatic as the others, but I'll show you what's going on. All right, so my trim pieces I cut are perfectly straight, but since this table is particle board, I've noticed that over time it has a bow to it in this direction. So in the middle, my board is just fine. So I'll go ahead and uh, pop a couple nails in the center. All right. And now, if you look over here, let me see if I can move the camera a little bit. I don't, I mean, it's kind of hard to tell, but the uh, wood needs to slightly come down a little bit. So what I can do is go ahead and clamp down here. That'll make that nice and flush. Then I can drop a couple of nails there on the end, and I can do it on the other side as well. So here we go. All right, so now my trim bows with the wood and you won't ever be able to tell. So then I'll just go in between those two, do two more and then I'll do the same thing on the other end and I'll clamp it down, make sure that it is totally flush and bows with the rest of the table, nail it down and it'll be done. Then I can go ahead, flip this thing upside down. I will screw on the um, base because that's no big deal, just four screws and I'll show you what this thing finally looks like when it's finished. All right, so it's been cold and wet the last couple of days. As you can see, that's why I've been inside. But I wanted to open doors for good lighting so you can see the table all finished. Turned out great. So I'll show you the base first. If you remember, I cut down the uh, ends of the legs to match. I think that turned out excellent. That is a really, really cool 
little feature there. And then of course the ground aluminum just has a really cool glowing effect to it. I really like that. And then the round base up to the uh, bottom of the table just has that very kind of, you know, space age, mid-century look. And then the tabletop has the look that's so hot right now with the kind of, you know, industrial barn wood mixed in with a little bit of modern and all that. And uh, turned out really cool. Almost like a little piece of uh, framed artwork sitting on top of a, a table base. But uh, the wood slats, I really like just keeping them very simple like this. I thought the two-tone looked great. And I really love how the lacquer feels on the wood and how it kept it from turning kind of orange or yellow. I know not a lot of people are crazy about lacquer because it's kind of like a plastic instead of an oil finish. But I like it. And of course it was trimmed out in the uh, homemade wood stained uh, trim pieces and then the middle pieces also have the homemade wood stain which gave this cheap pine just a really cool kind of glowing orangey red color and then of course the little paint detail I did is very similar to my um, uh, palette wood paint trick video I did a while back where you slop on paint and then you sand it off and it stays in all the little grooves and just gives a really cool look and it's a good way to kind of uh, keep your wood rough and use it to your advantage it just has a you know really cool look and uh, it's turned out really nice. I imagine this is probably going to be used in maybe like a family room, a game room, something like that. Someone may buy it as a dining room table, but I'll probably kind of market it as a, you know, a, a break room table or a, something like that, a game room table, see what happens. But not too bad for a $4 thrift store find. I figure this thing probably was at like some crappy factory uh, break room just being abused for years and now it has a totally new life. Turned out great. Very simple project. I know I showed a lot of steps in the video, but it really was simple. Just ground the base and then put wood on top. But I just want to make sure that if anyone wanted to try it, you know, I pretty much had all the steps there without missing anything. So, hope you like it. I think it turned out great.